largest homeless encampment in Phoenix, known as the Zone, will soon be gone. This week, a judge issued a ruling on a lawsuit ordering the city to permanently clear out the area by November 4th. Fox 10's Lindsay Regis joins us live in studio with reaction from those who are part of the lawsuit. Lindsay. Mark and Christina, residents and business owners who live in the area or own property filed this lawsuit against the city. I caught up with two business owners who say the judge's ruling means they get their business back. The zone has been an eyesore to many who have witnessed the homeless encampments in downtown. Defecation, urination, the drugs, the vandalism, um, scary people walking around. That's the reason a lawsuit was filed against the city of Phoenix last year. We've had dozens and dozens of meetings with the city, you know, and nothing seemed to be getting done. Joe Falacci is the owner of the old station sub shop that sits on the outskirts of the zone. He says the judge's ruling is a victory for his 38-year-old business. A win for the little people, you know. We've been suffering for four years. Um, a lot of people say, well, the homeless are suffering too. Yeah, but... We're the ones that go to work every day. We're the ones that pay taxes. And we're the ones that have to clean up everything. So the city doesn't help me. He's hoping business will pick up again once the city clears the homeless encampment. The same goes for Joel Copeland, owner of Gallery 119. We're going to open back up. That we have a whole season planned for this, for this coming year. He closed his art gallery three years ago because of homeless encampments right outside his home and business. You know, now that if the campers aren't here, there's places to park and people won't be afraid. And, and it'll be, a, it'll be a, a new world. Both business owners say this ruling is beneficial to more than just them. It's unfortunate that this happened, had to happen this way, but, you know, it's good for the street people, too. You know, they're going to get help. I'm really hoping that uh, um, everybody benefits from this, that the business owners benefit, the residents around here benefit, and that the people that were on the street benefit as well. The city of Phoenix said in a statement to Fox 10, quote, the city of Phoenix is disappointed with the court's ruling. The city is addressing the area around Human Services Campus strategically one block at a time to ensure we can offer every individual we engage with shelter. The city is reviewing the court's ruling and exploring legal options. Now, now the city has six weeks to clean out the zone. The order does not tell the city how to clear the zone, but it does say all tents and makeshift structures need to be removed by deadline. Lindsay Regis, Fox 10 News.